today we're in Chickabee, Massachusetts. We're in front of another church of Chickabee. And this one's called Saints Constantine and Helen Greek Orthodox Church. It's on Groton Street, very close to the Chickabee River. Now the building that we're looking at right now is from 1955. And it has a very unique structure because the middle portion is made out of large masonry blocks mason together and then it has brick facades on both sides for its congregation and then towards the back it has wooden panels so it has all kinds of different materials making it up it's still when it blends together it looks pretty good it has nice blue doors now it was actually in Chicopee since 1918 and they celebrated the 100th year just six years ago in the year 2018 so this church here named after two saints that are very popular with the Greek religion, uh, St. Constantine and St. Helen. Now this is Greek Orthodox, who is not a Roman Catholic church, and for that reason it's an Orthodox church, which means that they're not Roman Catholic or uh, called Catholics. They're not Protestant because they didn't, they're not a break off from the Catholic religion. They are their own religion. They have their own head of the church in Greece that rules over every church. Very similar to like the Pope has functions over all the Roman Catholic churches. And this church does, you have to pause it. Now, as you can imagine, the, the amount of Greeks around the area is pretty low. So this is pretty much all they need. There is, in Springfield, the uh, bishop, the equivalent of the bishop, because the, the diocese for Western Massachusetts for the Greek Orthodox is in Springfield. And so they're under their domain. Now, the other components are never large enough to have a school. And the minister probably lives elsewhere than here. The cemetery they use, though, is not Catholic. They always use the Protestant cemeteries. They were never large enough to start their own cemetery, an Orthodox cemetery. The nearest one of those is a Ukrainian Orthodox cemetery up beyond Sunderland, either in Sunderland or beyond Sunderland. And so the head of this church who made the church, when he died, he was buried in the Fairview Cemetery of Chickaboo, which is fine. Okay, now, you, you don't see much ornateness, it's a very simple church. Most Greek Orthodox Church tries hard to be ornate, but they just didn't have the money. But what you, what you could see is squeezed between this corridor back here, there's, there's, uh, so one tiny detail there for ornateness is a beautiful double column uh, window in the very back. That's where the sac the sacristy is. That's where the priest would store the hose. That's where the priest would put on the vestments for the day. And so that's very important. Now notice that they have basement windows. That means the social center is probably down there. They don't need much, but it's probably there. So small, yes, but very, very nice. And now notice above each door they have an emblem of the Greek church. Lambs are incredibly important in the Greek church. In fact, on their Easter, they drink the blood of a, of a lamb that was just alive the day before. Now, above the middle door, they have, they have both saints. All right, so St. Constantine on the left and St. Helen is on the right above that door. And that's repeated in the banner they mounted onto the church itself. All right, so everything's nicely done here. Thank you very much.